In this video, we are going to install this newly released GLM 4.7 flash locally. We are going to test it out on coding, language, multilinguality and various other benchmarks. Plus, I am going to tell you all about its architecture. But before I show you the installation and test it out, one thing I want to clarify is that this morning I created this video GLM 4.7 flash and we tested it out on their hosted platform. Now I received a lot of emails and other messages that this is not the flash. This is a simple GLM 4.7. I already put it in the comment this and season, also mentioned it in the you know video very clearly that I only made this video after getting it confirmed from the GLM team that this is in fact GLM 4.7 on their hosted platform. But there is a lot of confusion. So instead of you know arguing there whether it is 4.7 or not, let's get it installed directly from Hugging Face to avoid any confusion or doubt and test it out in this video. Okay, so what exactly is this new model? So GLM 4.7 Flash is a 30 billion parameter mixture of expert model with 3 billion active parameters. This is one of the strongest model in its class for balancing performance with lightweight deployment and benchmarks speak for themselves. They show that it's exceptional capabilities across diverse tasks, but at the same time looks quite truthful because it hasn't beaten everyone else on every benchmark, which is the case in most of the models these days. Uh, you can see that, for example, on AME25, uh, GBT OSS is performing well all across the board. And also you can see that on Humanities last exam, this model has performed quite well. And same is on SUI Bench Verified. So on coding, and on general purpose tasks, the model seems quite good, but there are other models which are better than this. So let's get it installed and when um, we are going to test it out, we'll see how exactly it performs on different tasks. The tool which I'm going to use in order to get it installed is VLLM. I already have installed VLLM. If you don't know how to install it, just go to my channel, search with VLLM tutorial and watch this video and you should be able to get it installed quite quickly and this is my system spec i have ubuntu i have one gpu card nvidia h100 with 80 gb of vram and i will try to adjust this 30 billion parameter model on this gpu and we will check out the vram consumption too if you are looking to rent a gpu or vm or cpu on very affordable price you can find the link to mass compute in videos description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpus and now I am going to download and then serve this GLM 4.7 flash on my local system with tool called some reasoning parser and I am just using the parser for GLM 4.5 because it uses different sort of thinking and for that I already have covered it in this video by the way in detail what exactly thinking it is doing. And the model is now being, you know, loaded onto the GPU. So let's wait. Okay, so the model is loaded and taking over 57 gig of VRAM. So make sure that you have that much VRAM to accommodate this model. Okay, now let me uh, take you to my VS Code and we will start doing the inference through a Python script. Or even we can go with open web UI. Let's first do the open web UI. I'm just going to open another terminal. I will let my VLLM server running. Let's firstly quickly check the VRAM consumption. So, oh wow, so my VRAM consumption has jumped to around 76 gig of VRAM. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to do it open web UI, but sometime it just, you know, runs out of memory. If that happens, we will revert back to our Python script, but I will just let uh, try this one out. It is easier to, you know, check out. And you can already see that my system is struggling. The open web UI is loading and then I'll access it in the browser. Okay, so this is my open web UI. My, mo my model is loaded. And let's now try out the prompt. So first up, let's try out coding. So I'm asking it to create me a self-contained HTML file 
that features an animated rocket zooming across the screen. And then there are various features around it. Let's see how it goes. It is thinking and thinking looks so similar to what we saw in the previous video, but anyway. And in that video, we saw that the result was the code was working, but it was not optimal. So let's see how it goes without it. The reasoning looks pretty good to me. It is even drafting the rocket's body, refining the world and the class and the fields. And then this is the final code structure. So let's wait for it to generate the code and then we will go from there. And this is the code which it has created. Let me just open it in the preview. Let me, it says click anywhere to launch the fireworks. I have, I have clicked it. Let's wait. Nothing is happening. So what I'm going to do, I'm just, because sometimes this doesn't work in open web UI. So I'm just going to copy the all of code and then paste it in a file and run it. So I have opened it in the browser. Still nothing is happening. So I will go back and tell it nothing is happening. That when I click on the screen, nothing happens. So let's see what it thinks. It is understanding what my input is. This is a context. And let's see if it is able to detect its own error. It says blaming the user is bad. Assuming code is bad is bad. So this is a chain of thought. So it is generating different chain of thoughts and then giving the reward to the best one. Self-correction is there. And now it has gone with some of sort of fix. It is still generating. So let's wait and we will try it again. Okay, so it have created the code again. Let me just run this. There you go. This time it works. And I'm clicking on the screen. Looks pretty good. Speed is very nice. And you can see that the rocket is zooming across the screen. Physics is right. Rebounds are good. You see that it is even pumping. There is a trail too. Blur is fine. The background also looks pretty good to me. That is pretty nice. Okay, so this one is good. The code looks good. Let's quickly generate one more. Okay, for the next one, I'm going to build the full application sort of thing. So I'm asking it to create me a modern romantic landing page for a dating website called Heart Connect. The design should be warm, inviting and trustworthy. And there are various sections, hero section, header, success stories, footer. So, and then I'm giving it some instructions around design and then model uh, mobile responsiveness. So let's wait for it and we will check it out. And it has created the code. I have pasted it in my file. Let me refresh this page. Oh, wow. This is so good. Uh, it has, you know, I think followed the prompt to the hilt in terms of color scheme. The naming is right. It has put in all the header and hero section perfectly well. And it is responsive too. Yes, I asked it to do this and how it works. So modern. So, so good. There you go. Even testimonials are there. Pricing is there. This is out of this world. And even socials in the header and everything is there. Really, really good. And you see, there is also download app and app store. Beautifully done. Okay, that is good. Now let's try out one more. I'm just going to ask it a very complex question around optimizing a SQL query. The query is right, but it is not optimized. There are a few things which I'm looking forward to. If model is able to detect around sub, uh, sub queries or nested sub queries, and then some CTEs in this SQL. Now, if you have ever been a DBA, you know that, or even SQL developer, you know that how hard it is. And I can tell you, it already has detected all of the issues, CTEs and nested sub queries. And now it is just going through some of the strategies so fascinating to see model think and now it is just testing different sections of the query how good is that okay i will let it finish and then i'll show you the end result because i can already tell you that it is producing the right query just from this draft 
model is still thinking and I just wanted to show you this. It says let's generate the optimized SQL, but then it says actually I want to be really helpful. It is, you know, suggesting me now. And it has actually gone, you know, gone beyond my expectations because the way it is doing this multi-address check is really, really good. And the query is spot on. All of the suboptimal things have been fixed here. Okay, so I will uh, just stop it here. I think it already has done what it needed to do. I'll just stop it because there are a few other tests I want to do. Okay, now the model is taking a bit of a time to stop. Okay, let's check out the history and a bit of a trick question to the model. Let's wait. So I'm asking it if my future wife shares her first name with the mother of the spouse of 42nd president of the US and her surname is maiden name of the mother of the first prime minister of Canada. What is my future wife's name? Let's see what the name of lucky winner is. And my apologies, my system is very slow because I am not only using all of my GPU, but also the mod, you know, KV cache is being offloaded to my, um, you know, CPU memory too. So just wait for it. And the model is thinking about that issue. It is deconstructing my query. And again, the thinking is awesome. So it is her maiden name was Shaw, so my future wife's name is Hilary Shaw. Look, if you are from US, let me know if this history reference is correct or not, or even from Canada. Okay, let's try out another one. Now the model is multilingual, so I'm just going to ask it to translate this sentence, spend less than what you want, save and invest the difference in almost all of the major and even some low resource languages from across the world. There are 50 of them. So again, I would need your help. If you are that language speaker, please check out. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about the translation? So I will let it finish and then we will just call it a day. Okay, so this is a translation. I'm just going to scroll slowly. Let me know, please. And it has done few of the languages. Don't worry about the font. And I see various mistakes in various languages, by the way. Common languages, I think it is doing fine, but there are some mistakes there. So multilinguality is not there. And as is the case with these GLM uh, models, I think coding, math, and these sort of things are quite good. Translation is not there for day. But maybe let me know what do you think. It's not that everything is wrong, but most of it is okay, but there are various mistakes. I'm just scrolling down. There you go. So even, and it has tried with every language. Okay, so let me know what do you think about JLM 4.7 Flash? Have you tried it out? Uh, please put it in the comments. And if you like the video, please subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.